Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a realistic t-shirt mock-up. First go to photop.com. It's a free online photo editor. Next we're going to go up to file, open, and then we're going to find our mock-up image. Mine is called white t-shirt mock-up and click open. There it is in our background. Now we're going to go back over to File, Open in Place. And then we're going to find our t-shirt design. And this should be a PNG file that has a transparent background. I've called mine your shirt design. And I'll open that. And it opens your t-shirt design right above the mock-up image. Now you just need to go and place your design where you'd like it on the shirt. That looks good. Okay, now we're going to go back over here to our background, to our mock-up image, and then we're going to duplicate that layer. To duplicate that layer, you right-click on the background, and then you go to Duplicate Layer. And then we need to move that layer above our image, above your shirt design and that hides the shirt design temporarily. So we're going to change the, the blending mode from a normal and we're going to scroll down until we see hard light. And now you can see through that duplicated mock-up image. And you'll see that it made the design a little too light. So we just need to go and make a few adjustments. The first adjustment that we're going to do to this layer is we need to desaturate it, just make it black and white. So while we're clicked on that layer, we're going to go over to Image Adjustments, and then we're going to scroll down to Hue and Saturation. So go down here to the middle slider, the saturation slider, and slide it all the way to the left and that's going to desaturate that image and click OK. Next we need to go over here and right click on that top layer and you're going to go down until you see clipping mask. Click on clipping mask and what that's going to do is it's only going to affect the design below that layer. So you can still see your design showing through. So next, while we're still on that top layer, we need to go over to Image Adjustments, and then we're going to go to Curves. And then we'll move this over where you can still see your design and we're going to play around with the curves. So we're going to adjust the lights and darks, play around with the highlights and shadows to get this to look exactly the way we want it. So we'll just, our darks will be down here so you can see the image coming back and our highlights will be up here. So you can bring the highlights down, bring them up, and just find the right spot for your design that will show those highlights and shadows, making it look realistic. Okay, and there you have it. That looks great. So now we need to export this file. So we'll go on up to File, and then we'll go down to export as and then you want to select JPEG and that brings up this little box so we want to go ahead and change our height to 2000 pixels because we're working with a pretty large image and if you have an Etsy shop 
you don't want your mockup to be too large. They have a 10 megabyte file size limit. So by changing that height to 2000 pixels, um, that'll make it the correct size. And if you click this little link button, it's going to automatically make the other size, I mean the other side, the correct size. So all we have to do now is click save and it will automatically go to the downloads folder on your computer. And we'll click on that and there it is. Beautiful.